Part 1 will show you how to make the cake. We will need 2 and 3 fourths cups gluten-free flour, 1 and 1 fourth teaspoons baking powder, 1 teaspoon baking soda, 1 and 1 fourth teaspoons ground cinnamon, 1 half teaspoon ground nutmeg, 1 eighth teaspoon ground cloves, 1 half teaspoon salt. And I added 1 half teaspoon xanthan gum because I'm using gluten-free flour. These will all constitute our dry ingredients mixture. For our wet ingredients, we'll need 4 large eggs and 3 fourths cup vegetable oil or less if you want to reduce the amount of fat in your cake. Then we will add our sugar using two types, brown and granulated. The original recipe on which this is based calls for a cup of each type of sugar, but I will be using only one half cup of each because everyone in this house prefers his or her cake to be not too sweet. Of course, the star ingredient is our carrots, at least one pound, and one cup of chopped toasted walnuts or pecans. We start by combining all dry ingredients in a bowl and then we set this aside. Now using a food processor, grate or chop the carrots and then transfer the grated carrots into a container. A pound of carrots should equal roughly about three cups. Wipe the food processor bowl and chopper attachment clean and put the granulated sugar and brown sugar in. And also the eggs. And then process until well combined, maybe for 20 seconds. With the food processor running, add the vegetable oil in a steady stream and process for 20 seconds more. Next, we are going to transfer our egg mixture to a large clean bowl and then we stir in our chopped or grated carrots our flour mixture and the nuts until everything is thoroughly integrated into our cake batter so this is how our cake batter should look like before we pour it into our parchment lined baking pan. Notice this parchment paper overhang. This is done on purpose so that it will be easier to just lift the cake up out of the pan when it's done. Pour and spread the batter evenly onto the pan. Then bake for about 35 to 40 minutes in 350 degrees Fahrenheit preheated oven. We have our carrot cake and we're just going to test it with a toothpick. If the toothpick comes out clean, then we know that, yeah, it's done. All right, we're just going to let this cool completely in the pan on top of this um, wire rack or cooling rack for maybe two hours.